When was your last visit to a wildlife sanctuary? Still thinking. Time to go. Anyway, let's start. The dusky moorhen is a bird species in the rail family and is one of the eight extant species in the moorhen genus. It occurs in India, Australia, New Guinea, Borneo and Indonesia. It is often confused with the purple swamp hen and the Eurasian coot due to similar appearance and overlapping distributions. They often live alongside birds in the same genus, such as the Tasmanian native hen and the common moorhen. It is a medium-sized bird, slightly smaller than the purple swamp hen. The adult is mainly dark grey-black, with a browner tinge to the upper parts. It has a red frontal shield and yellow-tipped red bill like its Eurasian relative, but lacks the white flank line shown by common moorhen, and has orange-yellow rather than yellow legs. The Australian subspecies is larger and pager than both other subspecies. It feeds both on land and in water. Its diet consists of seeds, the tips of shrubs and grasses, algae, fruits, mollusks, and other invertebrates. It will also consume carrion, bread, and droppings from birds including gulls and ducks. The chicks are fed mostly on annelid worms and mollusks, with plant matter gradually being given in increasing proportions by the parents as the young mature. Breeding season is from August to January in the south of Australia, with generally one brood, and January to June in the north, often brooding twice. This species builds a bulky nest of reeds or grasses at the water's edge, or a few centimeters above the water, often at the base of a melaleuca, and lays a clutch of 5 to 11 matte whitish eggs that are covered with red-brown dots and splotches. It is territorial when breeding, but otherwise gregarious. It may nest alongside the purple swamp hen. They are diurnal and roost at nighttime alone in breeding groups or in non-breeding flocks. They roost on platforms constructed in reeds set above the water, on branches over the water, and more rarely on the ground in the reeds. During the day they rest at these places and may also sit on floating vegetation, rocks, logs, and on the banks. In hot weather they may sit high up in trees. It was wonderful to see you here, and we will surely catch up soon. Take care.